We started with 54 topics back last summer. Put it out to the Enterprise, the MAGCOMs, the staff, nug that down to eight. In response to the Chief of Staff of the Air Force's strategic approach to accelerate change or lose, chairs from four teams tasked with tackling some of the Air and Space Force's most pressing agile combat support challenges delivered their recommendations April 21st at the 2021 Installation and Mission Support Weapons and Tactics Conference. General Bunch, they did all the research. They did the analysis and they're ready to present. The experience was kind of rocky at first, honestly, not knowing what to do, where I was going, just this huge Air Force problem to try to figure out. Teams called Mission Area Working Groups pitched their innovative solutions to an audience of more than 500 Air and Space Force senior officials, mission support leaders, and peers during the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center hosted virtual event after a 2020 hiatus due to COVID-19. From our perspective, 2021 has been a, an absolute huge success. Uh, after iWebTech was canceled in 2020 due to the pandemic, uh, we were kind of forced to go back to the drawing board and reimagine what iWebTech could look like if we were forced to kind of go a more virtual route. We gave them the challenge. I said, hey gang, you know, we gotta keep, we gotta keep our innovation form up. We gotta keep getting after these issues. We gotta keep going. We have to transition everything we did into some kind of virtual telework type atmosphere. The Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Charles Q. Brown Jr. said, our mission support groups are often the unsung heroes of air power during his remarks at the IWEPTAC related Mission Support Leadership Summit held April 19th. In addition to the Mission Support Group Leadership Summit that provides an interactive forum for the AFIMSC team to collaborate with the leaders who manage related programs at base level, other IWEPTAC related events included a General Officer and Senior Executive Service Summit that brought together more than 50 installation and mission support leaders who had strategic discussion about installation and support programs and an industry day, during which AFIMSC teams brief attendees from the commercial sector about ongoing programs and future plans where they could potentially compete for business. What iWebTech is to me is the opportunity for the Air Force to actually get their talent together and go after some of the most wicked problems we've got out there for installation and mission support. We have a ton of folks out there across the Air Force that have phenomenal capabilities and we're not fully utilizing them. We're not taking advantage of them. After the COVID-19 hiatus in 2020, Major General Wilcox expressed his gratitude for how the AFI-MSC team met the challenge to conduct the event virtually. So I'm super proud of the team for knocking it out of the park and being able to bring iWebTAC to uh, the Air and Space Force in 2021. From Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. We're ready to act, we're ready to accelerate and implement change. I'm James Bueller. Ideas, we want those good recommendations.